I have the B-movie script memorized. My friends are telling me I should recite a couple of minutes for the talent show. Even better is that I'm a speed talker at around 420 hey, words per minute. So I can get even more of the script done. Hi, what's your talent? Reciting the B-movie script. Uh, excuse me, what? I said reciting the B-movie script. Just, just give them the trophy they want, please have mercy. Some Tumblr jokes are utterly embarrassing to say in public, but today I said to someone, both of you to assume I have dignity. And I won't lie, it was the most powerful I've felt in years. I was in the car with my family and my mom was talking about how much time she thinks our generation wastes on the internet or whatever. And I was explaining how I use the internet to read and curate most interests and hobbies and expand my social horizons, etc. And she was like, well fine, if that's how you want to live, you can just waste all your time on the internet if that's what you want, but I beg to differ. And without thinking, I just said, then beg. And the car went silent until we got home. It was the biggest power move I have ever made to date. Tutorial. Brush him. <laughs> Thank you. I learned a lot. You know where the dearest Taco Bell is? We are down the block to the left. July 11th, 2019. I have their time. Does anyone else ever take an earphone out to tell a joke that they just came up with, but then realize that everyone in the room is straight, so won't get it? I may have a problem. I'm stuck in a house with my straight family, and they're moderately supportive, but they don't get the memes. You dig? I was just waiting for my snack crap, but everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. This looks like something out of a freaking Sims game. Watch out, Superhero Lock! There's a new trinity in town. The Shreyax movie. No, thank you. Today I learned that once your GPS unit realizes it's traveling faster than 1,200 miles per hour at an altitude higher than 60,000 feet, it will automatically shut itself down in fear that it's being used in an international ballistic missile-like application. Me trying to find the Aldi's at 2 a.m. in my 747 commercial airliner. <sighs> this again? The LP should be worded differently, because this makes me feel like the GPS has an AI and can feel fear. Shh, it's all right, the villain said. You're doing beautifully, and I'm so proud of you. But that's enough now. It was cruel of them to make you fight me. You could have never won. It's not your fault. The ancient and powerful villain may have had a calm and gentle face as he spoke, but he was furious. Not at the hero but the gods for continually sending kids and teenagers to fight their battles. Ayo, hey, what's a fucking cheeseburger? We got small, medium, large. What flavor you want? Cute, gender-neutral things to call your partner. Significant annoyance. I love capitalizing words that do not need to be capitalized at all so that you read them in that important voice. You know what's absolutely gorgeous? Brown eyes with a dark ring around the iris. We should romanticize that more. I have blue eyes with a dark ring around the iris. Make your own post! This one's for brown eyes! Oh no, it's not romantic. It's the last thing people see. Jesus Christ, that got dark fast. Fact of the day! Zebra stripes are not always black and white. Sometimes they are black and orange. This is a giraffe. Beds are overrated. Just sleep on the couch. Wait, you can cuddle better on beds. Couches are overrated. Just sit on the bed. Dude, but like romantically. Babe, but like platonically. Sweetheart, but like rivalry. Bastard, but like partner. And darling, but I can't stand you. Soft rocks. Can you imagine, though? You send your enemies a rather large amount of these in various sizes. You have no return address or explanation. They open all the boxes to discover these wondrous pillows. They are reluctant to keep them, but eventually they give in and integrate them into their home like the above pictures. After a few weeks or even months, they've gotten accustomed to having them in their home and routinely relax in large pile of the odd pillows. Until one night, you just take every single one back and replace them with actual rocks of the same dimensions so that when it's time for them to relax and unwind from their day to day, fall into a pile of hard, unmoving boulders. They break their spine and are paralyzed. You have won. What the fuck is wrong with you? This sounds like a Doctor Who episode. Your package has been delivered. Well, we would never drive in your fucking house unlike FedEx official. When you need fast delivery, we come through. I am 20 years old, and I still have no idea how girls make hats out of towels after they shower. This is the most innocent yak I've ever seen. This lifted my spirits a little. One time my brother tried to yank away my towel hat and was promptly horrified when I yelled in pain. I didn't know your hair was in there, he cried. <sighs> Boys. Wait, your hair's in the twisty part?